my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and this is going to be the Friday challenge where I'm going to ask you to look through your long boxes and find books related to a particular theme and do like a little challenge video. Um, there's a bunch of channels that participate in this. It's kind of a fun thing within the community to do. And if you want to participate, all you have to do is make a video based on the, to this week's theme, which is horror. It's going to be horror comics. And I'm going to do a very special video <laughs> because um, this week in my uh, Wednesday video, uh, somebody asked me to show uh, my top 10 pre-code horror comics. And I figured, hey, I'll, I'll do it. I'll be, make it part of the challenge. But I even went one step further. Um, I, I, I am biased in terms of which covers I like the most. So I decided to do it unbiased version. So what I did was I went to a site where they ranked the best horror covers of all time. Best pre-code horror co covers of all time. And they came up with a list of the top 20. <laughs> and I had actually, I think, 12 out of the top 20. So I was quite pleased with myself. <laughs> Not to brag. Um, but uh, I had 12 out of the top 20. Um, not all of them were slabbed though. A couple of them weren't slabbed. So I was like, okay, the non-slabbed ones, I won't show, but I'll show the top, my top 10 out of that top 20 list. Um, I didn't actually have what they listed as number one and two, which was a little bit disappointing, but I did have a few of their top ones. Uh, I had, as I said, 12 out of the 20, that's not too bad. So I'm gonna show you what they rank as the top 20 and in order of where they rank it I'm, I'm actually curious because some of these I felt like what really some of these I felt should have been much higher on the list so I'm going to show you the books and and they're going to be in order of how they were ranked on the list uh the first one which was at the in the number 20 spot was uh worlds of fear number 10 and this is just a classic cover um, actually I showed it last week for like what the F, uh, <laughs> uh, covers and, um, but this is a cool one. Worlds of Fear number 10, great eyeball thing. Norm Saunders cover, uh, from 1953. Just a really cool pre-code horror cover. So Worlds of Fear number 10, classic, classic cover. Okay. Next one. Uh, was Beware number 10 and this is a classic Fizetta cover uh, just a really great one girl in the red dress you got to have a girl in the red dress in horror books um, and you got the zombies or the skeleton zombies I don't know what they are uh, pointing to the grave you're going to go there so this is a really cool one really like Fizetta's art and uh, yeah this is a great one that's number nine on the list. Number eight was another one that was on the WTF <laughs> video. Um, this is uh, Lawbreakers Suspense Stories. Now, I was actually a little bit surprised this was on the pre-code horror list because this is actually more of a crime suspense story, but we'll go with it. Um, it's got, it's definitely pre-code horror vibes. I mean, this is a crazy cover uh, because it's the guy with like all the people's tongues can see let me zoom in you can see he's he's dropping them on the floor and she's like too scared to scream because if she screams he'll cut her tongue out <laughs> it's so just a really messed up one uh so this is law of breakers suspense stories number 11 classic crazy cover probably one of the most crazy covers from the golden age um really really amazing cover uh so that's uh, number eight on the list. Number seven is uh, Mr. Mystery, number 11. And uh, this one's another one I showed on the WTF video. Uh, just a really cool one. This is like uh, ants going to eat this guy's face. <laughs> and you can see in the background another skull where they ate that guy's face already. Uh, I guess they're still hungry, need more face to eat. So uh, yeah, so they're off to this guy's face now. Uh, buried in the sand, can't do much, and he's just going to get his face eaten. Pretty brutal comic cover. 
Uh, this one was done by Bernard Bailey. Uh, he's one of the classic uh, pre-code horror cover artists. He also did um, The Spectre, which is interesting. He, his Spectre covers are some of the most desired within the Spectre, more fun comics uh, run. Uh, this is just a classic cover from 1953. Number six on the list is another Mr. Mystery. I don't know why they had a bunch of Mr. Mystery on the list. This is Mr. Mystery number 18, and it is a classic shrunken head cover. Look at all the shrunken heads. Now, the cool thing about it is you got the heads in the pot. He's preparing them. You know, this is very educational. It's teaching you how, if you want to learn how to prepare a shrunken head, this is the way to do it. And you got the couple, and they're, you know, they're all keen to take part. <laughs> they're going to be next, right? Uh, so they're in bondage in the background. It's a really great pre-code horror, horror cover. Um, yeah, so this is number uh, six on the list. Number five is another <laughs> Mr. Mystery. Mr. Mystery had some amazing covers, actually. Really great series. Uh, this is Mr. Mystery number 12. Uh, and it's the classic injury to eye cover. Poker, hot poker to the eye. You can see the, you know, the eye being just, <laughs> just ready for impact, uh, and it's like sweating, you know, with fear from the potential poker to the eye. Just a classic cover. Um, so this is uh, number twelve, and it's also I think it's a uh, Bernard Bailey as well. So these are all Bernard Bailey covers. The last three for um, Mister Mystery. That was, I was, I was actually surprised that there were so many Mr. Mysteries on that tw top 20 list and I had all of them. So that was, that was kind of convenient. Um, the next one, I was actually a little bit surprised how poorly it rated. It was, I think it was like sixth on their list. Um, uh, so I was a little bit disappointed. Oh, it's only sixth. Really? This is like my, I, I would have thought this was number one on the list, but it was sixth on their list. I don't agree. <laughs> but what do you think? Should this been number six or should this been number one? We'll see. Uh, it's Chamber of Chills, 19. I think this is one of the most classic pre-code horror covers of all time. Um, this was used on the Misfit, Misfits el album, Monster album, and it's just a classic cover. I mean, you got Good Girl, you got this pre-code horror thing. The way her face through the the cup is uh, skeletal. It's really cool. Um, just a great cover. So this is Chamber of Chills 19. One of the most famous uh, <laughs> pre-code horror covers. It also has like a little skull on the, the for the cufflings. Just lots of really fine details. I make this one just a really great cover. I, I always loved it. Um, so that's Chamber of Chills from 1953. It's a Lee Elias cover. Another Lee Elias cover, I believe. Am I wrong? No, it's oh, Howard Nordstrand. Sorry, Howard Nordstrand. Um, is Witch's Tales number 35? Or 25, number 25. I forgot the number. Um, this was the next one on the list, number, number three. <laughs> uh, actually, number this was their number five. Uh, but ranked higher than Chamber of Chills. I think this is a great cover, don't get me wrong, but I thought Chamber of Chills was way better. Um, but this is a classic head in the bell, <laughs> you know, decapitated cover. One of the more gruesome covers of the pre-code horror era. Um, it is, uh, as I said, Howard Nordstrand uh, cover. Just a really great cover. So that's number three on my list, though. Next, uh, this one's a, this one is, I would have rated this lower, but it's still a great cover. I mean, this is pretty awesome. This was uh, number four on their list. Um, and it was Startling Terror Tales number 11. Um, this is a classic L.B. Cole Death Spider cover. Uh, this was actually, um, one, there was an earlier issue where he used the same spider, but it was smaller. And I think they realized that the spider, the spider was actually the cool part of it. It had a big guy's face on it, and then the spider was small. They, I think they realized the spider is the cool thing. They 
they zoomed in on the spider and it's a great one. You got this dead guy and this girl that's probably going to die soon. Um, and the floating heads. This is a really great uh, L.B. Cole cover from 1952. And number one, uh, and this was number three on their list, but number one on my list is Crime Suspense Stories number 22. This is a major comic. Um, kind of makes sense to be high on the list. Is it better than Chamber of Chills? I don't know. Um, it's both are both are awesome covers. Uh, I I do love this one. I actually have to say, but um, yeah, they're both. Ah, uh, no, so hard to say. Um, but yeah, so this was the number one. Um, they're number three actually. Uh, and um, you can ask me in the comments below what the number two, one and two are, and I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, so uh, Chamber. Uh, sorry, uh, Crime Suspense Stories number twenty two. And this is just a classic EC cover uh, from Johnny Craig. So, uh, yeah, that is my list of top horror covers. If you want to make a response video, all you have to do is um, use the hashtag horror covers. Um, yeah, horror covers. We'll keep it horror covers. And hashtag Friday Comic Challenge. And um, make a response video. I will check it out. Um, and um, yeah, I hope everyone has fun doing this. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.